Hi, uh, my name is Wei Ding. I'm a hematologist at Mayo Clinic Rochester. Uh, my specialty area is uh, chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Today, i just like to spend a few minutes to talk about the newer therapies for chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Chronic lymphocytic leukemia is one of the most common leukemia in the United States. It is estimated that approximately 16,000 new cases occur in the nation every year. So most patients actually was diagnosed, uh, we call it incidentally, because they usually come to their primary care physician, a blood count was checked, and they were found to have uh, elevated white blood cell count. And further study with uh, a so-called test flow cytometry will make the diagnosis of chronic lymphocytic leukemia. The uh, understanding of chronic lymphocytic leukemia has drastically changed in the last two decades. Multiple studies coming out of uh, MD Anderson, Mayo Clinic, German CLO group, uh, Ohio State have demonstrated the chemoimmunotherapy as a standard first-line therapy for patient-required treatment. I want to point out that there's a couple of CLO centers in the nation. Mayo Clinic is one of them. We typically see uh, approximately over 1,000 CLO patients each year, approximately a couple hundred new CLO patients each year. Um, so it would be a great interest for us to continue this trend of CLO research and study and developing new therapies. Uh, as I mentioned before, the chemoimmunotherapy, which are a combination of three drugs, including pure analog, um, usually in the format of fludarabine or pentostatin, um, as well as alkylating agent, usually um, cytoxin, and also the uh, ant monoclonal antibody to anti-CD20, uh, rituximab, as a combination called chemoimmunotherapy, our standard first-line therapy for CLL patient who require treatment. However, this therapy uh, associated with significant toxicities for elderly CLL patient or patient who do not have normal kidney function or other organ function may not be able to tolerate. And also for a group of CLL patients who actually have a, a specific uh, mutation or abnormality in their chromosomes, specifically the chromosome 17 short arm deletion, may not respond to this type of therapy. Therefore, newer therapy for CLL disease are needed. In the last couple of years, exciting research have demonstrated uh, newer therapy could be used in this group of patients. Uh, now we understand the B cell receptor signal transduction pathway, so-called BCR pathway, plays a sig significant role in CLO disease. Newer therapies uh, specifically designed to targeting this pathway have been developed. Those therapies include bruton tyrosine kinase inhibitor, so-called abrutinib, and p 3 kinase inhibitor, so-called Cal-101, as well as another inhibitor called AKT inhibitor. Uh, we are developing that in the Mayo Clinic. So those inhibitors, especially the first two, have shown promising uh, response for relapsed refractory CLO patient. Uh, now, there are multiple national trials have been planned actually moving forward, especially the BTK inhibitor, to the frontline setting to compare the traditional chemoimmunotherapy for CL patients who, who would first require treatment. Uh, fortunately, Mayo Clinic is in the center of developing one of the trials, uh, which is designed to compare abrutinib plus rituximab with a standard immunotherapy called FCR for younger CLL patient. Dr. Tate Schenefeld is the principal investigator for this national trial. And another trial is designed to compare abrutinib plus rituximab with traditional chemoimmunotherapy called bendamustin rituximab in elderly CLL patient. Dr. Jennifer Wyatt from Ohio State is principal investigator for that trial. Both trials are projected to open in the second half of the year. We encourage all patients come to uh, all the center, open those trials to participate in those studies. I think the answer to those uh, questions addressed by those studies will greatly enhance our knowledge of CLO disease as well as therapies. 
specifically at Mayo Clinic, we also have another inhibitor called AKT inhibitor, MK2206, in combination with bendamustine rituximab for relapsed CLO patient. So far, we have promising early result. We also encourage patients to our center to participate in these studies or other NCCTG site open those studies. Other novel therapy have been developed, including chimeric antigen receptor modified T cell therapy, developed by uh, Dr. Kao Jun Group in uh, University of Pennsylvania. And this therapy actually is very novel using patient derived T cells against their own leukemic cells. Also, have shown very promising results. So, I think. At this time, uh, CLO biology disease therapy have been a fast speed to develop and is an exciting era for CLO physician patients as well as researcher to move the field. In the next couple years, we'll have um, um, a good result to demonstrate that maybe we'll completely change the current standard therapy for CLO disease.